interesting. So Gondo's got an interesting one. Oh, oh, gallery pick. Oh my. What's this all about now? A beautiful woman playing the harp. Let's call it quits for today. Miss Mariana, when are you gonna come back? Please play your harp for us again. I promise I'll stop by again. Please be good boys and girls until I return. Weak. Pathetically weak. How depressing. Is there anyone in this world who can lift me from my sadness? And who's that guy? And another interesting uh, Gary Pick again. This was in the Dorf Eggers. How do Dorfers accounts look for this fiscal year? Yes, Mr. President. Compared to the previous year, we're projecting a 20% increase in net profits. It seems presenting ourselves as a local community-oriented company for all those years is finally starting to pay off. Agreed. We shall proceed with the next phase of development and begin the large-scale staff increases as planned. Yes, but this is simply the first step. We'll continue to expand the company until it's known throughout the entire world. I'm counting on you, Bernard. I'm up to the task, sir. I shall give my all as well. Wait, what? She's working with them too? Our company's charity work and orphanages, our corporate image has never been better. The people genuinely believe that we have their best interests at heart. This sword contains my soul, sir. It is proof of my loyalty to you. If necessary, I will kill anyone who stands in our way. With our power, nothing is beyond your reach. I know. Thanks to you all, the acquisition of the Furies is progressing smoothly. Soon, my ambition will be realized. Mr. President, we have an emergency! What is the meaning of this podcast? It's rude to cause such an uproar in front of the president. Please excuse my interruption. Something unimaginable has happened. Zenk has been defeated. What? Zenk? Wow, this is interesting. Who in the world would be strong enough to defeat a man like Zenk? Oh, I can tell you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, he was easy. But he did put a good fight, though. Fascinating. My soul yearns for a worthy adversary. I would very much like to meet the person responsible. Come on down, let's fight! I'm ready for you. Anytime, any place. Well, Paiga, who defeated Sang? Yes, of course. Some sloppy looking boy named Fang. He's extremely strong. <laughs> So you came running back here without putting up a fight? Ah, uh, no. I, I simply took proper precautions. Besides, I've tried to keep Zenk in line many times, but he never listened. I asked you if you came running back here without putting up a fight. Well, I... I considered fighting him, but I thought it would be best to report this news to the company first. You insolent fool! You dare call yourself a fencer? So this guy is a fencer too. Strange, he looked like what, to be honest. The offer doesn't need an incompetent coward like you. You're fired! Clean out your desk and get out! <laughs> Please, anything but that! I have a wife and three kids! I have a 30-year mortgage on my house that I'm still paying! Please forgive me, I'm begging you. Please just give me one more chance. I met your wife at our company's party. She was truly stunning. Out of respect for her beauty, I'll give you one last chance. Well, this is nice, I guess. Be grateful for our president's kind heart, sir. 
as an example to your employees. And you're cutting his next bonus, too. Ouch. Consider it done. Jeez, you have to be that harsh with the guy. Oh, my wife's gonna kill me. However, this fang was capable of defeating Sank. He could prove to be a considerable thorn in our side. Wouldn't it be wise to take precautions now? Hmm, you're right. Haiga, investigate this boy named Fang. If an opportunity presents itself, kill him and confiscate his fury. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. No one is allowed to meddle in our company's affairs. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Glory to Torpa. This Torfa company is really an evil business. <laughs> I found one! I found a fury! Finally. There's no way I'd show my face at Dorfa empty-handed. Fang, I'm definitely going to kill you. I don't care what kind of dirty trick I have to use. You'll pay for humiliating me. I'll take away everything you hold dear. Starting with your limbs, then your fairy, then your women. And after I'm done having my fun with you, then I'll take your life! <laughs> I repeat, he is a psycho. A bloodthirsty psychopath. <clears throat> the clouds are restless today. It seems a storm is approaching. What the hell? Who are you? Are you a fencer? Can't you hear it crying? Huh? What are you talking about? Want me to remove your head from your shoulders, bastard? You really can't hear it? That fury you're about to take is crying. It's crying because it doesn't want you to take it. Do you know who you're talking to? My name is... <laughs> Impossible! I... <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. There's no reason to learn someone's name when they're going to die anyway. Shermit, I get you have been a hero t to us as a laid. Man, we're still on, going up, up over back. 30 minutes. As much as you want. It's my treat. Well, what do you mean, your treat? Bahas is the one who made this. And there better not be any leftovers. <laughs> I know. I know. I ain't gonna waste a single crumb. <laughs> oh, Galdo, you're such a good boy. But how many times must I tell you? Marissa asks like a, like a mother. Uh, I would buy that first fairy. <laughs> Do your food thoroughly and make sure you thank the farmers who prepared it. Come on, Fang. That goes for you, too. It's a big no-no to swallow your food without chewing it properly. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here you go. Eat up. I can't believe you can eat that much. Do your stomachs lead to an alternate dimension or something? <laughs> no comment. Hey, you are. No, not eating, eh? Hey, if you don't want those fried shrimp, I'll gladly take them. You can't have them. Erin. Mm. Give me no fried shrimp. Mine tastes pretty good with this tartar sauce, but mmm, yours will tasty in that cocktail sauce. <laughs> I'm not giving you my food. Jeez, you boys are such pigs. I can't be too careful around either of you. <laughs> Even if it's just a crumb or a grain of sugar, my food goes inside my stomach. That's a cardinal rule, so there. <laughs> You guys are too much. Here, have my fried shrimp. 
Harley. <laughs> okay. And it's French with tartar sauce too. Oh, thanks, Harley. My, my, Harley. Thank you for being so kind to my Gomikins. I hope you continue to be good friends with him. Now hold on. I haven't acknowledged you two as our friends. Do you really think we would trust someone who was working for Zank? Why do you think I don't have much of an appetite right now? Well, that makes sense. Every fencer pretty much knew that Zank was a bad apple -y. So I get where you're coming from. But now that I'm best buds with old Fang, oh, that's all behind me. Just watch how I live my life from now on and see for yourself. You are welcome to do whatever you like. As for me, I am done eating. Huey, I have already prepared your food, so you better not beg for leftovers. How can he be so flighty? Just yesterday he was our enemy. I don't see myself ever coming to like him. Suspicions, suspicions. Jeez, we're probably dud. Oh man, this is gonna be a super long video. This one may be cut into two parts then. No joke, because I may just do that for now. This guy's also level 11, okay. I don't worry about level grinding him at all. Okay. Ah, we'll stop here for now. Jeez. Yeah, I may cut this into two parts, guys. Sorry. There is no way I would upload a 37 minute video. That's insane. Uh, so, I guess next time, guys, we will begin our uh, next destination, wherever it takes us. So, until then, later, folks.